So uh, we're going to listen to uh, Peter Lemons, and he will talk about personal task management, although I think the name on the screen is a lot more vibrant. Yeah. I like it. I hope you automate your life instead of your code. Yeah. So let's start. Okay. So uh, thank you all for joining my presentation on uh, how to automate your life. Uh, first to start, uh, I will not uh, be telling something about coding, nor um, Drupal, nor about programming. Uh, and not home automation or uh, smart technologies. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Great. So, uh, let's pull back from today's modern lifestyle uh, where we all have to manage a constant stream of impulses. So, who can recall on a situation like this at work or at home where you have Slack, Messenger, mail, phone, your boss? Ah, you don't see this one. This is one. Damn. I mean, this one is doing like, hey, can I ask you something? So, um, so who can recall a situation like this? Yeah, I think all of us. So the goal of my presentation is to get you away from the, for an hour today, from today's challenges, and give you methods to handle these kinds of situations and to handle our business lives, so that we don't have to worry about forgetting stuff. Uh, we can just enjoy doing doing the things that we love, that we like. For developers, that's coding. For project managers, that's communication with the client or follow up with the team. There are more fun things than constantly handling that uh, constant stream of impulses. Um, so we all know the bar is set high today. We have to deliver more and more and better, but we keep getting interrupted more and more and more today. So that's why I will talk about today. Uh, so more about me. Uh, I'm a service delivery manager at DropSolid, the gold sponsor. Um, uh, that's my day job. My night job is I'm a firefighter, a paramedic, I do acting in a theater group, I do singing, I do that a lot. So that's a bit why uh, this is the, the getting things done and the task management is something well, I need to have uh, in order to handle my own life. So that's what I want to share with you as well. Uh, I have um, to say something about Drupal. I have eight years experience in Drupal. Uh, I was a developer myself, uh, but now I'm a project manager slash delivery manager. Um, so the reason um, I'm uh, also need I, I also need this task management is because I have a very bad memory. That in combination with being a project manager is my weakness is also my biggest strength. I need to write everything write everything down. I need to have a list to know what I have done and what do I need to do. So all that together is why I'm here at the stage. Um, yeah. So now I'd like to know who uh, is my audience. So who here is a developer? Raise your hand please. A lot of developers. Okay, uh, project managers or sales? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, any analysts, architects, marketeers, people I did not sum up? Clients? No? Okay, cool. Um, well, let me start with a short move movie uh, from my favorite series. You have heard the intro before. Uh, how do you do it here? I keep thinking I'm forgetting something. I can't think with all this noise. What am I supposed to do? Pick up Bart. Pick up Bart. Pick a bar. The hell is pick a bar? So, um, we have all sorts of impulses. WhatsApp, Messenger, Slack, phones, people interrupting you, going through your desk, 
um, emails, whatever, constant stream of, imp of impulses at home and at work, everywhere, it never stops. So on, how on earth can you manage all that information without forgetting anything? Um, I, I, I find it a horrible feeling that I, like Homer, know I needed to do something but I did not, didn't know anymore afterwards. So, um, wait, I'm going too fast here, so, okay, so let me give you an example. You have a busy day at work, and you're going home, or driving home, and you think, oh, my mother's sick, I need to call her and, and, and ask her how she is. You come home, you see all the chores, you get to see your messages, you think of all you need to do at home, and the next day you think, damn, I did not call my mother, I'm a bad son now. So that's not something we all have, we just forget what we need to do. And how come? Well, the reason is very simple. The brain is for having ideas, not for holding them. The brain is not made to think or handle more, uh, more than four things at once. Um, you see, Simpsons is my favorite show, it's everywhere. Um, so, the brain is a brilliant planner. It uh, helps you get here today, where you want to go, which session you want to, to, to go to. Great choice, by the way. <laughs> um, and what you have for lunch, what you want to do, that's everything the brain can do, but the brain cannot remind you. That's not made for that. So that's why we need uh, something like the second brain to store all the information. The second brain. This is actually getting things done. Who knows they're getting things done Man uh, methodology? Okay, not many people a bit. Yeah, well, that's actually what I'm going to say. The things you see here is actually getting things done. But summarized, they don't have to read the full book. Maybe it's here. Um, so, there are actually four steps, but the last one is heavy. Um, so, the second grade, getting things done, is the system that helps you manage your, uh, all your action items, your ideas, your to do's, uh, everything you need to do. And actually, you already know this. This is something, it's not new. We all do it. We all write down what we have to get from the store or what we need to do tomorrow. We all do that. But we tend to go into reaction mode, where we see something and say, ah, don't do that now, and you forget all the rest. And someone else you something, oh yeah, I will help you. What was I doing? I don't know. The reaction mode is the, the biggest cause of forgetting things. We, we, we should not do that, and we need to go in a, a mode where we reach our goals and do what we want to do, plan to do, and not what we think we do, should do now, at this moment, because someone asked us something. It's like actually a simple setting to do this, but the key is to keep it up to date. And I'll tell you more about that, and I'll give an example afterwards of how I do it with the tools I use. Um, who here uses Scrum at the, at the office? Yeah, yeah, well, it actually looks a lot like Scrum. If a client asks you, hey, can you change the color of the header for me? We don't do that immediately. Yeah, we work with sprints, we say, okay, I'll tell it in the next sprint, I will see how much work it is, etc., etc. So we add it to the backlog, we collect the information, and we add the item to the back. We don't do it immediately. But in real life, we do. In real life, if someone asks you something, do it immediately. But we shouldn't do it. Make, make Scrum the way you work in your own life as well. So you go to backlog, then you go to find where you see okay, what, what do I actually need to do. Can I do something here? Or uh, is it clear enough? Um, how much work will it be? That's where we find it. That's the organized part. And then we have the sprint line where we just set it. Yeah, I'll do it later. Not now. I know we have an actual sprint, which is our daily task list on what we will, will do. So, I'll go over that step by step. The uh, collect step um, is where we gather all the information in one list. And this is very important. You need to have one list. Not a text pad on, the, on your desktop, uh, a, a paper next to your keyboard, uh, a list on your phone, your emails, your calendar, if you want to. You cannot combine all those things, you don't know where you have to start and doing those things. You, have, you need to have one list where you collect everything. So, in this case, you collect your mails, ideas to pop, that pop in your mind, uh, write them down in one list, um, and then briefly, uh, quickly ask yourself the question is it actionable? Like you, get, uh, you receive an email where um, they tell you something about, yeah, we will do um, a team event next month. Great, but what do I need to do? Nah, 
I'll wait. I'll go over that mail later on. I'm, I'm not checking it now, but I'll go back to that later. If you do that, you have a list of 100 mails which go over regularly, constantly the same mails, and you don't get forward. You take mail, you think, can I do something here? No, it's just information. Archive. Just press E or you know, Archive. Oh, gone with it. If you need it, you'll get it back, which you don't need to do anything. Be straight up. Just put it away. Uh, if it's actionable, then okay, then do something like this. Uh, but how much work is it? Is it under two minutes? Then just do it. If you then postpone it, just lose time. Just do it. It's more than two minutes. Say, okay, I'm, I see what you want, but I'm going to postpone it until a later date. Which means I'll set it to the organized step. I'll add it to my organized list. So, now we have handled all the uh, things uh, that we need to process, not to process. Uh, so we know what is urgent, what is not. Um, and actually, at this stage, you have an empty mailbox. My mailbox is most of the time just empty. Four times a day I check my mailbox and just clear it out. And I know this is what I need to do today, that is what I need to do tomorrow or later. So, uh, and that's a great feeling, having an empty mailbox. Who here has an empty mailbox? Alright, yeah, it's a good feeling, right? <laughs> I was like, yes, did it again. So, um, that's the capture, collect all information. Did I forget anything? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, you can choose where to write it down. So, a list where you collect it, that can be a list on your on paper, that can be an agenda, that can be a, a tool. Whatever works for you, there is no one solution for everyone. But the big idea is that you have one place for everything. Okay. Okay. So the action list. Now we have one list with all the things we need to do. Um, Next step here is to prioritize and organize uh, all those uh, tasks. And then you can do that uh, based on three uh, categories. Project, time, and context. Just like in Scrum, if you get a task to do, change the color of the header. Yeah, you know that's for project X. And you place a ticket in project X. That's very logical. But why don't we do that in our personal life or in, in all tasks we do? Just organize everything you need to do in one group. That can be a tag, that can be a folder, that can be whatever works for you. If you have, if you have a paper, have one paper for no, no, it's not true. You have a list, and you add, add next to that a group that you can focus when you go to into uh, action mode. You say, okay, now I'm going to work one hour on that project. You take a folder for that project, or you select a tag, and then you do all the tasks within that project. It will way further, uh, way faster than just going over every task and skipping from project to project. So, project is one thing. Then we have the time. Uh, if you need to do something by a certain date, yeah, you need to know that. So you add it to the uh, agenda, or add a reminder in the tool you use that uh, tells you now is the time to do. So that's one thing. And then a very uh, useful one is the context. Context can be, I need to call someone to complete this task. But I have for several projects a task where I need to call someone. Great. You have an appointment somewhere, but you're half an hour too early. What can you do on half an hour? You don't have to start with new ideas or, or, or big, big projects. You can just take the call list and see, okay, I'll have a half an hour. Show me all my call tasks, fill the full call, and you start calling them. And then you have spend the time very well instead of just waiting half an hour or try to start with something that you cannot finish. Um, for example, in your personal life, if you want to have a party, if you want to organize a garden party, you have a project garden party, you have the time you need to um, prepare the, or the, um, you have to request the, the food from the deliverer uh, by that date, and the context is yeah, you need to make calls for that, and you have to go to the store to, to uh, find a tent or whatever, uh, all those things, combine them and do them at once. So, um, I will show you how I do this later in the presentation, um, but the key is to personalize it to fit your needs. What I'm telling here is the general idea, but 
Of course, this is not the holy grail. Do it as that works for you. Um, but one list and make it uh, a good overview that you know what to do. So now we have the uh, organized list where we see uh, all of our tests that need to be done, um, that are actionable, that are more than two minutes, and are organized by what kind of work it is. So that list, of course, is not static. In best case, you can complete everything, but in real life, it keeps on growing. Right? Um, so for that, you need to review your list regularly. You go over the list weekly, what suits for you, and see are, are there things that are already have done, maybe, or that are not valid anymore, or that need more information. Uh, did I forget to add anything? Go over the list, that's key as well. Otherwise, if you have everything in the list but you don't look at it, why bother? Then don't do this. So, um, and make sure that you go from the uh, short term goals, reaction mode, into finishing real goals, so go over your list. Okay? Well, this results in an action list, uh, like yeah, your actual sprint, what you need to do today. So, in my case, I have a list, this is what I'm going to do today, or, and um, I can cut off all the action items. And this way, I have a feeling that mostly around 3 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I have the idea that yeah, what I wanted to do today is finished. Great, my day is a success. And now I can, if I want, pick other uh, items from later days or other things that I need to think of. I mean, can make time to do other stuff that are not actually uh, very urgent to do. Um, so, but of course, now you think, yeah, it's all good, but I keep getting mails. What to do with it? Well, first of all, focus mode, which will, I, I will uh, go over later. Um, means close your mailbox, close your Slack, don't get distracted, just do your list. Um, and a couple times a day, if you say every hour, it's every hour, go over your mails and go back to collect. Just, I can scrape my inbox in like two to five minutes. Just go over the emails, see actual, no, up, archive. Yes, okay, what do I need to do? More than two minutes, okay, set it to the task list. Which is key as well, you should have a system where you can send your mails to. Otherwise you have two places where everything is. So, do that, uh, do the collect a few times a day, uh, and then close it again, and do your work. And don't keep your mailbox open, because you will get distracted constantly. So, um, yeah, the fun thing about having the list for today is, you know, I'm ready at the end of the day and you can go home with a good feeling that you have conquered the day and you did what needed to do and you know, okay, I will have tasks tomorrow, but I am sure I did not forget anything. I really know what needs to be done. I don't have to think of ah, oh, that guy asked me that and ah, oh, that mail, have I replied yet? I don't know. Yeah, that, that's a horrible feeling. With this system, you just put everything in the list, your brain gets at peace, can do the, uh, the, the, the executing thing and the, the creativity thing, but not the remember thing. And that gives great feel. So, uh, when we're in, we're in the engage part, um, the action part actually, then um, here we get the stuff done. But to be able to engage, you need to focus. Um, mm -hmm. As stated here, it takes 23 minutes to get into focus mode. So, if you're trying to get into one task, and someone gets to your desk and says, hey, do you have minutes? You can start over again. Fun. Um, so, therefore, try to make focus blocks for yourself, and um, close all apps, everything that can distract you, surely your mailbox, um, and try to, um, Show your colleagues that you are uh, you don't want to get disturbed. That's that's mostly the, the hardest part. Um, we we work in open space, which means there's a lot of noise and people coming to you. But we have some sort of rule that if you have your headphone on, that means you don't want to get distracted. Although not all colleagues know that. The sales guys come in when they want. Eh? 
that it's like this. Can I ask you something very, very quickly? Yeah, yeah I'm talking to the sales over. <laughs> <laughs> it never happens, never happens. <laughs> so, um, if you're constantly getting distracted, you won't be able to finish the tasks you wanted. So, during the engage time, um, the key to spending your time as good as possible is focus mode. Um, if they do interrupt you, if they do get to the desk, well, it's too late, but we haven't interrupted. Um, so, just go back and pick step, collect. Ask, okay, what can I do for you? Can I do it? Or should I defer it to someone else? Okay, I can do it. Okay. Is it more than two minutes? Okay, I'll add two minutes to the list. Oh, to the list. Add, close, goodbye, and continue working. And we get back to it. That's, and tell them, and next time, don't disturb me. Make an appointment. Ask for Slack. Why not? Send a mail, ask for Slack. That gives you the opportunity to, uh, to go into that question whenever you want. This kind of summarizes the issue I stated here. Who can relate to this? Yeah. <laughs> so, that's why focus mode is very important and keep the rest closed. This way you can create very nice analysis and do your thing without being away. So, um, another thing is uh, dare to say no. Even to your boss. I do it. If he comes to you and he says, do this immediately, then ask, is it really that urgent? Does it really have to be done immediately? Okay, if the website is down, it's another thing. Yes, that's urgent. Okay, but in our company, websites don't go down daily. I hope that's what you guys are saying. <laughs> Um, but is it really urgent? Is it really that important? Most of the time, the answer is, I know, actually not, but I just thought of it and I thought I'd just go ask you. But, yeah. So, there to say, you know, um, if my, uh, even my boss gets to my team of developers and I see them talking to the developer, first thing I do, I get up and I go with them and I say, hey, can I help you? Do you really need to? Get them out of, out of their focus. Do you have to distract them? Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> and then next time they come to me and I keep the focus for my team. I find it very important that they can keep on focusing. This way they can deliver their sprints, their work, uh, and the project. The guard, the gatekeeper. <laughs> uh, but you have to dare to say no for that, even to your boss. It's very important because that way you deliver more work, more value. And actually, the boss gets uh, value from it as well. So, so that is uh, the theory. Um, okay, halfway, nice. Um, now, about the tools I use. Um, we use GenoSuite at uh, work. Uh, anyone else who uses that at uh, work? Okay. Outlook users, Microsoft users, other things? Yeah. What do you use? Trello. Trello. Okay, but for your mail. Oh, I mean, for my This is my case. I uh, I know for all the other solutions there are tools as well. But in this case, the combination for my second grade is Mailbox, GQs, and Calendar. Who uses GQs already? No one? Okay. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> um, okay, so for the mailbox, um, as all of us, we get. 100 mails a day, um, and one thing I do is um, I automatically label them. Every mail has at least one label in my mailbox. Automatically, I do that. You see, I have the projects, I have the priority immediate, I have uh, the invoicing here. If the CEO sends me a mail that gets a red label with yellow text, CEO, and I know, man, maybe I should take that first. Um, this way you will already have a good view of what's in my mailbox. And especially useful when I go, uh, get back from holiday and uh, yeah, you have like three, four hundred mails. Yay, now I'm going to start on that. Most people just go over mails first, click. Then know what to do. I'll see you. Next. Uh, no, no. 
Very polite, okay. And then you go from project to project, question to question. <coughs> That's not the way to go. You have to focus you on one project. In this case, when I come back from the, um, the holiday, uh, I see all projects and I see up uh, here that's uh, all the same project. Okay? Let's just click on the label in Gmail of that project and go over those bits. All from the same project, all from the same person most of the time. I can just go to them and reply and check what is needed in the project. And when that project is done, those emails are archived or they're in my list to continue with later. And then next project. This way you have your focus on one project at a time. Like I said, in the uh, collect uh, in the review stage, where you add the text context that is actually this and it's been done automatically. Great. Um, yeah, and then what you do multiple times a day is open your mailbox, click, see, action will, yes, okay, continue, no, archive, just press E in Gmail, um, and then under two minutes, yes, do, if not, add to uh, action list. Okay? Um, yeah, this uh, Gmail has a plugin for GTUs. This one here, which if you just open the mail, you have a button and you click add to GTUs. Uh, and there you can set the, the queue, which is actually the project uh, or how you want to um, form that. The description is automatically your uh, email subject, but you can change it. Add notes, link this email, so the task gets linked to your email. And uh, then you can set extra text and the due date, which is then the date uh, of your task. Um, this is quickly done. This is like 10 seconds of work. If you say more than two minutes, book, click, away, next, up. This way you can really, really go fast through your mailbox. And I have this with not much effort. This does not mean you have no work. Sometimes colleagues pass by, ah, not a busy day, not much to do, can I give you something? No, 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 I'm not stressed. No worries, I have work, but I don't have the idea that I'm not following up and I know what needs to be done. Um, then for GQs, yeah, which I'll show in a minute, and we have the projects, which is uh, the work, but that is, um, that can be a project, but it can also be uh, things assigned to a colleague or uh, things to do for operations, whatever. A project is how you define what a project is, of course. Then the time is the date I uh, show you, and the context is you can have a tag call, think, read, write, analysis, and the time, whatever works for you as a tag added to the tasks. And then something like this, um, where I personally set a date for every task. That is not the uh, getting things philosophy, but it works for me. Um, this way I know, okay, this is something I'll probably do tomorrow or this week. If I know this is not going to happen this week, I've just said it. Next week, what's it? Oh, okay, and this way I have daily tasks. If they are not urgent, they are somewhere, and I won't forget them. I will always come to a point where I say, oh, yeah, I have to do this one, it was not urgent, I'll do it now. Great, ah, this way I won't forget the thing. Because if you add it to one of the lists and you don't go over the folder, you don't know you have to do it, then okay, it's noted down, you won't forget, but the question is when will you do it? So, this way I have my, uh, my daily tasks for June 24th. Okay, 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 it's already passed. I did it for everything. Um, so, here we have the um, Um, so here are my projects actually. So these are, I have two folders, customers and internal. For customers I have, uh, to do for the customers we have three projects with our, which are the agile big ones, the expanders, and we have the blue projects which are, which are the smaller ones, the assets, etc. Um, and then waiting to trigger is, okay, I sent a question to the client, requesting them to give information or something, but I know the client, you won't answer. So I added to the trigger. Uh, list. And I said, okay, I know you would answer, I postpone a week so in that list, and then uh, in a week I know, okay, I have to remind the client again. 
in this way at night, and I have a feeling that we that I'm onto it, even though I, I won't remember in a week that I need to do the trade with the client. But this way, it helps me to um, to follow up the project and get a good feeling about the project to the client that I'm onto it, and then I know when I remind them this. Oh yeah, yeah, you asked a week ago. I'll do it now. Um, what else do I have? Uh, back of the period last year, that's all things I need uh, in my own way of working. Now we have internal to do planning, operations, the team. Um, and one that I frequently use is the assigned to colleagues. Those are the great ones here. Uh, because I know my colleagues, I know who I, who I can get a task, and I know. I will do it, I don't have to worry. But most of the colleagues don't use my system and I know they will forget. So I remember it for them. I send them an email, I say, hey, can you do that for me, please? And I add it through the plugin to my assigned to colleagues list and I give them a book. And now one week I will remind them, hey, did you all do that? Oh yeah, right, reaction mode, I'll do it now, yeah! And they go into reaction mode then for me, which, okay, thank you. Uh, but this way, I know I'm not forgetting anything. And everything I want that is being done will be done. Here's a great feeling. Because, yeah, one thing is to just, here, it's your problem now, solve it. I'm not going to think of it anymore. I know it will be okay, but it won't. So this way, you know, everything's going to be okay. Um, oh, recurring costs, very interesting as well. Here we have all the ones with the arrows are recurring costs. Because I know I have to go over the QA, distance sprint, just to see if I can unblock some things, and I better do it daily. Whenever I click the check mark, start. Do you see that? No. If you go over it, you have a checkbox at the beginning. Uh, if you click that, it will automat automatically generate a new task for the next day, or next week, or two weeks, whatever. Uh, this way, the uh, recurring things won't be forgotten, so forgotten as well. Um, which is very useful. There's always tasks in my list because I always need to do things again and over and over. But okay. And this is combined then with extra tasks like these that are for this day. In best case, at the end of the day, I have been able to tick everything. If not, I just put on new. I do actually the review step, I do it daily. I, at the end of the day, I go over and see, okay, did it all work out as I wanted? No. What's going to be done tomorrow? Now tomorrow's first day. All meetings, nope, won't be happening. Nope, next week. This way, every day I have my list for the next day. That's what I need to do. And I have not forgotten a day. Maybe it's not done tomorrow, but it will have been done. And that's a great feeling to go home. Okay. GQs also has a plugin to uh, Google Calendar, uh, which these are my GQs tasks. They are automatically added in the calendar at the all day top. Um, and they have as well the checkbox. If you say, okay, I'm more comfortable working with my calendar as my daily to do list because I have meetings and tasks, they can use the Google Calendar as your overview. You have all the meetings, and above that, you have tasks, and then you can just click them there. You also see all the checked um, items from the previous days, which is fun to see what you did last week. Oh, you did a lot, a lot of checked items. Nice, good, good for you. So that's depending on how you want to work. I do use that often. Uh, I combine everything in GQs. Um, so, dun, dun, dun. yeah, do this for everything. This is for your tasks, but uh, if you still have 100 uh, files on your desktop and drive, it's just your trash uh, bin where you put everything and uh, you have dozens of papers on your desk, that will give you a clear mind as well. Try to combine all those things, mm -hmm. if possible, in mm -hmm. action list. And if, you just, if it's just documentation, add it in drive immediately in the correct folder. It saves you a lot of time in the end. And again, it gives you the feeling that you know where everything is, you quickly find everything and you don't have to worry about I still need to do that and that. Or I'll, I'll, I'll uh, add, add it to the map in a week. Yeah, you won't. Um, then we have uh, shortcuts in Gmail. 
um, which, uh, according to a study I found online, they say it saves you some 60 hours a year, which I can believe. Um, you have to just set that in Gmail and sell it. And then you have all these keys, uh, which the other ones I use most. E is archive, U is return to inbox. So when I open my mailbox, I click the first mail, and say E or F for or reply F, and just go over that with my keyboard, don't even use my mouse, go to the next, next, next. Um, this way you go through your mailbox in like two minutes, five minutes, really useful. And it takes you maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes to learn it. I have a note uh, on my desk with these uh, keys, um, still, although I use them uh, already half a year, but it's just a reminder for me, yeah, okay, what, what, what can I do? And if you are at some point that you want to do an action, you don't do regularly, like ask a star, very handy, you can say, okay, I'm going to start this one. Uh, it really goes pretty fast, so it's worth the effort to start this. Um, some other tips and tricks. Um, who uses custom search engines in uh, Chrome? Ah, prepare to be amazed. Um, here we have, for example, Wellmind is our ticketing system. Uh, someone says, hi, can you take a look at that ticket? Uh, two for five, six, seven. Okay, no problem. I just go to go and that type R and tap, two for five, six, seven, enter. Boom, I'm there. And this you can do for all websites that have a value in the URL. Um, so, for example, Google Drive you can do this well because you have the Q equals blah blah blah. You enter the name of the file you search, you just try to type drive tap, pop, pop, pop. I enter in your image in there for GIF as well. I tap GIF, tap, smiley people, enter, poof, I have everything you need to Saves you a lot of that. You can create them yourself by going to the, set to the settings of uh, Chrome and Click on Manage Search Engines. There you can give your own name, that's just to see the list of what is what. Enter the search word. It can be like RM for Redmine, or GIF for Giphy, whatever will suit you best. That's what you're going to give in your uh, address bar. And then the URL where the percentage S is the value that you enter in code is being replaced with. This way, it can really work really, really fast. Uh, if you use LastPass, you can do that as well. In the bar there, uh, just enter the website you need a password for. And in Slack, we use a Slack. Okay. Um, still, colleagues of mine who work with Slack like five years already say, Hey, what did you do? How, how did you get to that person so fast? Uh, you mean comment K? Okay. Yeah, what's that? Comment K. Okay. And then type and enter. Ah, well, it's easy. I don't have to search anymore in the whole list. Okay. We didn't know that. Still Amazing. But this way you can go to projects, people, whatever, very quickly. Um, and if you have someone who asks you something in Slack, but you think, well, now I'm focusing, but I'll respond to it later, you can just click the three um, dots on the message and then say, remind me, you can choose between months, an hour, three hours and you'll get a notification afterwards, so that's easy as well. Or type slash remind me in one hour, enter, and it's done as well. So all those uh, quick links and quick tricks are really worth the effort to just search for a while, learn about an hour for quick, uh, quick uh, fixes, etc. And this way you will work a lot faster. Um, so to summarize, uh, for Chrome we have the GQs for Gmail. It's actually GQs is a plugin uh, you need to install in Chrome as well. Um, link plump. I want to give you guys that is to open multiple links at the same time. So you time as well. Instead of click clicking twenty links, you can just press Shift, drag, open, and you have all your tabs in Chrome. Very useful. It's a Chrome plugin. Uh, better history. I have to load my hours. I think most of you need to do that. Uh, sometimes I forget what I, what I have done. Uh, and then I install a better history, which gives you a nice summary for every hour of what you did and a better overview. This way I know what I have done and I add it to my timers. So, by optimizing your personal organization, you have a clear mind, 
no worries, I have more time for fun stuff. These are some books that might help you. Can be done, but they done, and progress is understandable. And last slide. Any more questions or challenges you want to discuss? Yeah, medical colleague, yeah, you can, I'll show you. Can you repeat the question, please? Ah, yeah. Uh, can you share uh, GQs with colleagues? Yes, you can. Uh, oh, this is my one. So this is my GQs now. I have no things for today except for writing blog. Um, and here we have uh, shared with me. And if someone from sales sends a mail to the product project managers, we have a focus meeting once a week, Tuesday, where we discuss all those things. So they, we don't get to interrupt it. So everyone can send us a mail. And simple thing, all the project managers have the plugin. They just say, okay, check, add to the list uh, on for uh, to handle on times meeting. It's in there. Archive, problem solved, we'll handle it whenever the meeting is. And they send back, add it to the plan of this meeting. Done. That takes 10 seconds, seconds to process that information and just plan it from the right moment. Uh, and this way, we all see lists. You here have, uh, this shows you the actions that have been done. Um, and yeah, you can share it. One tip uh, if you share the link to the Gmail mail, someone else takes that, that will work. <laughs> can't see a mail, but we have an option to, um, to add the email as attachment. And you see, this gives uh, this, if you click that, you see a mail here, and then you can open the email and everyone can see it. And we can we go over the tasks during the meeting in this way. Okay? Other questions, yeah? Where biggest uh, challenges uh, you start? The biggest challenge is way of working. Yeah, well, first of all, of course, you need to. Um, <laughs> first of all, um, you need to. What can the answer? Does everyone speak Dutch actually? Yeah? Okay, good. It's not a problem. My best class was for that in the end, and I also did It's full hard, full hard. That is uh, the challenge in the beginning. Well, I have a an heel with a great mailbox, but I'm seeing you can on it. Um, but the first act is with the theory to follow. Always the theory in the beginning. And it will be so automatic that you now know it. It's so easy to begin to say, oh, we're going to be here. And then we're going to set it in place of that. Let's set it. Let's follow it. Let's review it. I've got a lot of colleagues that have been here. En die hebben nog een lijst, nou nog daar, maar ja, als ze schrijft dan alweer naar reactie worden, dan zijn dan weer met de mailbox bezig en ja, de lijst staat, dat is soms niet leuk te doen, maar ja, als je er niet op de regelmatige basis over gaat, dan dan het niet aan. Dat is echt een volhouden en het loopt de moeite. Sowieso. En hoe lang heeft het bij jou geduurd voordat je zoiets had van, nu ben ik er aan gewend? Hoe lang heeft het geduurd voor mij, uh, denk ik dat dat uh, lijkt dat gewoon was? Um, een maandje. Uh, maar ik was al heel gestructureerd in de manier van werken. Die tekst hadden ook uh, bij de regels te doen, hadden ook heel erg. Uh, ik heb verschillende manieren geprobeerd om daar te komen. Uh, werken met alle opstaan. Uh, ook met automatische uh, rules. Daar heb ik ook bijvoorbeeld automatische activering van e-mails ingesteld. Uh, daar ben ik heel erg fout in gegaan. <laughs> dan heb ik nog eens een paar mails uh, die automatisch geactiveerd worden, want die regels staat iets te breed. Maar dan zijn het al gedaan. <laughs> En terug dan zoek ik een al mails af, pak. Ja, nou, 50 mails is maar oké. Dus uh, dat is ook wel een challenge als je die instelt, begint, uh, begint heel concreet en dan kunnen we meer in de general things. Dank u wel. Nog iemand? Oké, okay, goed. Uh, mijn contactgegevens staan op de slide ook. Uh, die wordt gedeeld, neem ik aan. Dus uh, als iemand vragen heeft, dan ding, uh, mail mij. En ik heb ook nog vandaag niet